the very idea of an elephanzi, or a doggerty, or an advopotamus, or a kangaroceros, or a buffalion, is deeply unevolutionary and ridiculous. So is a fronky, and it is a disgrace that the perpetrator of that little witlicism, the Australian itinerant preacher John Mackay, has been touring British schools in 2008 and 2009, masquerading as a geologist, teaching innocent children that if evolution were true, the fossil record should contain fronkies. Pretty much my favorite animal. It's like a lion and a tiger mixed. Good for its skills and magic. Doesn't the fossil record contain a fronky? Well, of course, monkeys are not descended from frogs. No sane evolutionist ever said they were, or that ducks are descended from crocodiles, or vice versa. Monkeys and frogs share an ancestor, which certainly looked nothing like a frog and nothing like a monkey. Maybe it looked a bit like a salamander, and we do indeed have salamander-like fossils dating from the right time. But that's not the point. Every one of the millions of species of animals shares an ancestor with every other one. If your understanding of evolution is so warped that you think we should expect to see a fronky and a crocoduck, you should also wax sarcastic about the absence of a doggypotamus and an elephanzi. Indeed, why limit yourself to mammals? Why not a kangaroach, intermediate between kangaroo and cockroach, or an octopod, intermediate between octopus and leopard? Of course, hippopotamuses are not descended from dogs, or vice versa. Chimpanzees are not descended from elephants, or vice versa, just as monkeys are not descended from frogs. No modern species is descended from any other modern species, if we leave out very recent splits. 